Hey folks, one of those days where it's cloudy, it looks like it ought to rain, and in a couple of spots it did, but most areas it has not. You look at the radar right now, and there's not much, if anything, over the valley as of this hour. Earlier today, there was scattered stuff around, and now we're tracking one shower that was in Star County, some more stuff down to the south. You'll notice a lack of lightning. There's no lightning in it. None of these are thunderstorms. They're just quick showers. That's about all we've seen all day today. You can see it when we add the satellite to the radar as well. Now here's future track and let's see what it suggests that we see those spotty showers continue during the night. But look at this six o'clock in the morning. It suggests that not just a shower, but maybe a thunderstorm could sneak in here tomorrow. And I think there's a couple of chances for that in the morning and then again late in the afternoon. Uh, so we're going to have to keep an eye on that. I think for the most part tomorrow we're looking at showers. I think that's the biggest thing tomorrow, but there could be slight chance of an isolated thunderstorm, a very slight chance. And if it does go uh, turn into a thunderstorm, there's potential that it could be quite strong. So we'll have to watch this tomorrow. By 10 a.m., this model says it's near the coast and moving away. And then it goes quiet with only spotty stuff later in the day. If a line of thunderstorms goes through, it will work the atmosphere over. We shouldn't see any more thunderstorms after that, just leftover showers. Wednesday, spotty stuff is possible again. And even Thursday, well, I think Thursday is the driest of the next three days. I think even then an isolated shower is a possibility. So tomorrow scattered rain showers, about a 50% chance of rain, a less than 10% chance of any of those showers turning into certain thunderstorms, but still there's a possibility. So we'll watch 20% chance on Wednesday and then Thursday is mainly dry, suggesting that less than 10% of the area sees anything at all. Temperature wise, here's where we are right now. 80s every place but at the coast, 78 Port Isabel, 85 McAllen, 87 at this hour in Rio Grande City. Overnight tonight, we all bottom out in the low to mid 70s cloudy skies spotty showers and late night early tomorrow a slight chance for a thunderstorm and then during the daytime mostly just showers temperatures stay in the 80s again below average for this time of year as winds are out of the east at about 6 to 12 we'll keep an eye out for a thunderstorm 90s the normal high now we're going to be a below that rather 84 87 88 the next three days by the weekend probably back up to that 90 where we'll stay for a while after that. Here's a look at the bigger picture across Texas tonight. Upper air disturbance right here out ahead of that is where thunderstorms are going to likely to fire up. They're already showing up on the east side now. Those may move across Texas. Could see a watch issued up in uh, up around Del Rio later on this evening. Maybe down here though, nothing going to happen tonight. It's much later into early tomorrow is our best chance for a shower or a thunderstorm. That old front's still down to the south. That's why we still have the mild air right here. And the front's not going much of anywhere the rest of the week. It's kind of hangs out. But once that upper disturbance moves across Texas and gets out of here, our rain chances will dwindle but not go completely away. As you saw, we're mainly dry for the end of the week. At the coast, winds out of the east at about 5 to 15 knots, a moderate chop. The UV is extreme. There are three tides, no advisories with a low risk of rip currents. So your first one, five accurate with the forecast for tonight. Could be an isolated shower thunderstorm. I think showers more likely overnight. And then tomorrow, spotty showers. Maybe an isolated thunderstorm, 84 for your high temperature, easterly winds all day tomorrow. 84, 87, 88 the next three days. We're up to 90 by Friday, 92 Saturday. We stay in the 90s. We're going to have to watch tomorrow. And again, right now, the most likely scenario is scattered showers, but some slight chance something could pop through that atmosphere and turn into a thunderstorm. That's what we'll keep an eye on for you. That's your updated First One Five, AccuWeather Forecast.